my name is um, Mrs. Yara Sentua Ken Sankofa um, and I am here to primarily um, engage with the children in the knowledge of Kwanzaa and the lighting of the Mishuma Sabbath. But in terms of what a must have, we have our Kanara. Just being adjusted there, please give up. And then we also have a very special cup. It's called the Unity Cup in English. And does anybody know what it is? Called. I think it's the seven principles of Kwanzaa, or the seven days of Kwanzaa, have something to teach us for every day and every moment in our day as well. And I think that those principles give us renewed faith and courage and determination to continue on Liberation Road. For me, it's, it counteracts Christmas. It counteracts the commercialisation and the debt that we as African people get into. It stops our children just from thinking primarily of themselves and what they can get. And it's a way of children learning and knowing that it's something that you can have a celebration and give to. Because it's the children and the community that make the celebration rather than a gift wrapped up in pretty paper. First, I'd like to see Kwanzaa celebrated in every African home. Even if you celebrate Christmas, that's fine. It's not fighting Christmas, it's giving another dimension to your family. I would like to see that we greet each other appropriately outside of Kwanzaa as we do within Kwanzaa as well. Um, and I'd like to see it in every country and every people of African descent and keep it African. Your mummy and your daddy and your family, this is how we do it. My name is Moenda, I am 13 years old and I'm here to celebrate Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is, I think it's a cultural celebration and I enjoy it a lot because, well it's not like a black Christmas, it's because it's cultural and Christmas is a religious celebration. So I, well I just really enjoy Kwanzaa, it's very nice, you get to meet a lot of people, my father, he's been taking me probably since when I was three, I guess. But I remember Kwanzaa's at five, but I've been going Kwanzaa pretty much all my life. I don't know where to start with. There's the performances, and then there's the Karamu, which is the feast. There's lots of interesting. There's the lighting of the Mashuma Saba, it's always good. So. Kwanzaa celebration in regards to the, to the artist celebration. Although we mentioned that it was actually celebrated, To me, Kwanzaa is about nation building, it's about giving African people African descent something to build on, um, something to organise, something to actually lift us out of our, our slumber and, and step forward and step up. I'm, I'm on a learning trip. One thing I do like about Kwanzaa, um, it's, it's not commercialised. Yeah, and I think if you can keep that spirit that it's not commercialised and people are busting their necks to go and buy ridiculous presents but actually thinking about what they want to do for the following year, the coming year and how to build and pull their families together and their community together and let us as people work together to be as one, it's a good thing. What I have seen is actually children being engaged which is really important to me and it's nice to see the elders sitting down there and people not looking bored. That was really important to me, yeah. And as a typical brother sound. Kwanzaa is fairly new to me. It's fairly new to me. But the errors I've made in the past, they will be rectified. Kwanzaa is a wonderful African conceptualization. But what I'm saying is that we should go further, we should expand further into learning, not only learning how they have surprised us, 
enslaved us and still doing, controlling the affairs of our nations. How we can begin? It's a long journey. The journey towards liberating ourselves is a very long one. The value, the African indigenous value was removed. How we can now start reinstalling, retrieving back. It's beginning to discover who we are, beginning to develop our, our desires, the knowledge of who we are. The, then, once we know that, we begin to develop self-knowledge instead of self-hate. This is a Keka. This is symbolic of our African tradition and history, the foundation on which we still continue to build through our family, commu community, nation and race. knowledge that helped me to awaken my divinity. So when I come to Kwanza, I meet new people, I get re-energized, and I continue to grow. Mm -hmm. So I cannot start a new year unless I've celebrated the harvest, the first fruit, given thanks to Earth Mother Earth. Given thanks it is, I know, I know. I to divinity, given thanks to the sun and the rain for providing us with the sustenance to feed our body and then also feed our mind. So Kwanzaa is very important to me. And my son is growing up. He needs to be, we need to pass the baton to the younger generation. So when I come to Kwanzaa these days, it's not just all about me anymore. It's to bring him. Because he represents the future. It's a good thing to come and see like young people that like, um, are like, acting, people singing, rapping, like bringing all, all the black community together. Like I kind of enjoy it. Like um, what's it? Like I come here once in a while with my mom. Yeah, then this is my first time coming with my grandpa here. Yeah, she sees a intelligent man. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I was gonna say that Kwanzaa, like, to me, like, it helped me to become a, a black, a, a, like, a good black African male, like, in life. So, like, it's, that's why I try to come as much as I can. Okay. to me is a celebration, it's about finding alternatives for ourselves and alternatives that represent us. Um, it's also finding alternatives that, that children can be proud of as well, because I think that's one of the main things about it, that it's a celebration for us and they can see themselves and be proud. Um, it's also, um, to me, it represents um, a, a, an opportunity for people to come together as well, which is one of the principles of it, collectiveness, unity. And so it very much represents that us, us coming together and celebrating at least once a year. This particular um, um, celebration or this particular event has been put on by um, a Saturday school. So yeah, I would understand that there is, should be quite a good focus on the children and what they're doing and, and their, their, their achievements. So I think that's important. But I don't think um, it's out of balance because there are other ones that happen elsewhere. And I know I've been to other ones where, they, where it's, it's adult focus. And I think this one is fairly balanced because, you know, towards the end of the program or halfway through, you, you have lots of performers coming on, you know, music and rap and poetry and those sorts. So, so yeah, I think it's fairly you know, representative of, of, of different people. Kwanzaa is special. Kwanzaa is on the 26th. Kwanzaa has seven principles. Nia means purpose, Imani means faith, and Uroja means unity. <laughs> African um, gathering of people 
um, celebrating seven principles um, related to the well-being of uh, the African uh, family and community. When I say, if you touch her, she will go. I want you to say, ah. Kwanzaa like it's just a, a seven day thing, you know, and it becomes very um, much like a religion where you find some people, they go to church on Sunday and then they're praising God everything and in the week time they're wicked and they're, they're spiteful and whatever and everything else thrown out the window, you know. So that's what I'm saying, with, with Kwanzaa, it, it can't be a thing like that, it has to be something where you live, you know, it has to be something that's within you, it has to be something where, you know, you can carry it as, as just the way of being, you know, so for myself, it's not just a Kwanzaa thing because I'm dealing with something which, which comes before the Kwanzaa, which you'll find some of the principles within Kwanzaa in, which is soul, you know, and if you're dealing with soul consciousness, there you will find unity. And you will find um, the urge to find your to know your purpose and collective consciousness. All them things that you'll find written in um, Kwanzaa, you will have it within your soul anyway. You know, just like with many ancient books, like the Bible, for example, it gives you lots of commandments and ways of how to live. If you check yourself, you know that's within you. You know, so that's where I'm coming from. Really. So I, I, I share and celebrate with my brothers and sisters, but. I'm looking at it from more where we are and who we are. It's, um, we are soul conscious beings. She had a skirt with shining secret that moved her tassels to and fro. She had a dance that moved her 